So let's talk about Aloha shirts. And I'm not talking about the touristy ones that are bold and bright. I'm talking about the kind of Aloha shirts that locals wear to work, like this one. And if you walk around downtown Honolulu, you'll see a variety of shirts with different designs and fits and styles. And it can be kind of overwhelming, like what shirt do I buy, which is the best brand? And so I wanted to make a video about Aloha shirts as a starting point for someone who's looking to maybe buy some Aloha shirts. And I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. I just like the design, the feel, and the fit. But I think it's gonna rain really soon, you can see. So let's head back inside and I'll show you what I got in my closet. I think it's safe to say that Kahala Aloha shirts are my favorite brand. I just like their fit because they are not like too baggy, which was one of my biggest gripes when it came to Aloha shirts. And the material on my skin just feels really good. I also want to mention that while I like Kahala shirts, they can be a little bit expensive. I mostly bought these Kahala shirts secondhand for less than $10 each. And I actually prefer the old school faded look rather than that modern look. However, my wife recently bought me a white Aloha shirt, which was an interesting color choice for our family photos that we took this year. I think Kahala is a solid brand and one that I would highly recommend. They have a long history in Hawaii dating back to the 1930s, and it seems like they consistently produce great designs. Just wish I could afford to buy more Kahala Aloha shirts. You can kind of spot a Tory Richard shirt because of just the design quality. I personally feel like Tory Richard Aloha shirts have the perfect balance of a full shirt design that covers a lot of the shirt but is not overly distracting. Tory Richard started in the 1950s and they've definitely been a local favorite for years with a strong local brand presence. Of course, that high quality comes at a premium price. I wish I could afford more Tory Richard shirts as these are not cheap. Again, I got mine secondhand and I like this fit and this particular design. Again, it's a full design with lots of lines, but not too bold. And if I ever see secondhand Tory Richard shirts, I usually will buy them just because I want to add another Tory Richard shirt to the closet. So I'm gonna group these two brands together since they look kind of similar because of the vintage designs. I think these are almost like a generic brand Aloha shirt in Hawaii since you can buy these at Costco. The designs aren't as dynamic as the more expensive brands, but I actually like the simplicity every now and then. And they're a huge step up from those touristy Walmart Aloha shirts. Again, I bought mines for under $10 secondhand, but I think these are actually pretty affordable brand new. And what I appreciate the most about these shirts is the fit. These just fit really well on me. These shirts are like a slim fit. And for a short guy, it's nice when the clothes actually fit right. I feel like I don't have to tuck in this shirt because it's the appropriate length down for my particular height. This is a brand I'd never heard of before my wife bought me this polo shirt as a gift. And she was really excited about buying me this shirt. It's kind of an interesting design. I really like how the shirt feels because it's like a really cool material and something that you probably could wear on the golf course. Recently, my wife bought me another RE South shirt and this time it was an Aloha shirt. <laughs> and it was a little bold for me. Not something I would have selected off the rack for myself, but it was a really good fit and the design has grown on me over time. These shirts are a little pricey, but as a gift, it was nice to receive one. And of course, it's always nice to support one of the smaller local designers. Quicksilver isn't a brand I would normally associate with Aloha shirts, but I do like the feel of the material on some of the shirts. Once I got over the fact that Quicksilver isn't just for high school boys, I learned to appreciate their designs. This gray Aloha shirt is one of my favorites because the design is very subtle. The fabric is a little heavy, but it does feel nice indoors. The fit isn't always good, so that's something that I've had to be aware of when looking at Quicksilver shirts. Sometimes they're a little wide. They do make some that are slimmer than others, but I don't think they cut the shirts as slim as some of the other brands. So if you're a little bit bigger in the waist, these might be okay. But for me, I actually prefer more of that slim fitted look. Now I know that this wasn't a comprehensive list of all of the best Aloha shirt brands in Hawaii. There's Ren Spooner, Ricks, Tommy Bahama, and more. But these are the Aloha shirts that I own and wear on a regular basis. More importantly, they fit my body shape. And sometimes it takes a while. 
some trial and error to figure out which brands fit best for you. My Aloha shirt collection is a work in progress and as I've gotten older and somewhat lazier, it's nice to have some fitted Aloha shirts that I don't always have to tuck in my pants for work. So let me know what Aloha shirt brands you like and would recommend. Thanks for watching and Aloha.